Okay, so uh, in this video, we're going to talk about mineral dissolution precipitation, um, like the equation involved and the reaction involved. Um, this is um, different from the previous lesson on aqueous complexation or speciation, because the previous reaction uh, only uh, involved reaction thermodynamics, meaning we, we care about the end point of the reaction. Um, when we have mineral dissolution precipitation, because reaction usually occur between the solid phase, at the interface of solid phase and uh, water, um, reaction occur much slower. So we often need to consider the kinetics of the reaction, meaning like we care about how long it takes for the reaction to occur to reach the end point. So what I'm going to do today here is um, using the carbonate dissolution system in a batch reactor. So batch reactor meaning it's um, closed, uh, well mixed, uh, so that it does not have concentration gradient in different parts of the reactor. So essentially you're solving for one concentration for the whole, uh, for each species for the whole reactor. So that's our system. So if you think about it, if you want to kind of draw whatever, something relevant to what you do in the lab, it be you think about these water, and then you have these calcite grains, and you have these mixers that will, will keep the system well mixed. Um, and again, the reaction involving this system, um, it's similar to what uh, we talked about last time for the aqueous speciation, the carbon and water. For example, all these three reactions are the same as what I wrote before uh, in, in lesson one. But the key thing is we're adding this calcite dissolution, uh, which is calcite dissolving out to become calcium and uh, carbonate. Um, calcite or carbonate in general is a very common um, type of rock or minerals uh, face in on Earth's surface. So this is um, it's reaction. I mean, compared to the aqueous speciation or complexation, it's much slower. But compared to other type of mineral dissolution, it's actually relatively fast. Um, so we have these four uh, reactions here. You can think about the calcite dissolution essentially kind of releasing out the elements from the solid phase to the, to the water phase, right? So it dissolves out, so add to the water with calcium species, calcium species and carbonate species. Um, but then uh, once carbonate is released into water, it quickly goes through the speciation reaction to become either bicarbonate or carbonic acid, depending on the pH of the system, as we talked about last time. So if you think about the species in this system, now that the species we have, um, in addition to the five species, for example, carbo um, carbonic acid, bicarbonate, uh, carbonate, oh, this, this is wrong. So this should be carbonate. And uh, this should be two. So you have these uh, three carbonate species. You have, you have hydrogen ion, um, OH minus, all these five as before. But on top of that, you're adding calcium. So uh, essentially now you have six species, right? You would have Ca2 plus um, carbonic acid, carbonate, um, bicarbonate carbonate, and then you also have H plus, OH minus, so that's six species. So we, what does that mean is that we essentially have six unknowns um, to solve for, and we will have, we will need six equations to solve for this, um, for, so, for solve for all these species. But notice that uh, one thing that we need to pay attention to is that um, we have these five uh, there was these three reactions that occur fast, so you have these three equations already there. Uh, we can we can think about it as one, two, three. Right? These are the three relationships, but we cannot use this one because this is not a um, fast reaction. These are fast reaction. 
Uh, this is a slow reaction, which means we need to care about its kinetics, like how far away, how far it releases out these chemical species um, over time. So when we solve these equations, um, we actually need to consider the time component. In this case, we would, we would need to think about the mass balance of system, right? So these, these cells, out, cells are dissolving out and release out, for example, Ca2 plus, and releasing out um, CO3, uh, bicarbonate, and then this would be exchanged into bicarbonate and exchanged into carbonic acid. Right, so these three species are essentially exchangeable. Um, so we can, when we think about the mass balance of the system, um, you would think about the concentration of, let's think about the ca calcium first, right? Volume, this is the volume of the water in the system, and you have the concentration of calcium. Ultimately, we're all solving for concentration, not activity, right? So this will give you the mass. So, so concentration of the units of mass, mass per volume. And then we actually ha we, we will need to solve for um, order differential equation now because there's time component here. Now the source, so in this kind of system, we don't really have flow transport. So the only source or sink of this calcium species is through these reactions, right? So let's, let's say we have the rate constant of this um, reaction is Ksp. So that's the rate constant. And we talk about the TST rate, or which is transition state uh, rate theory in the online materials. You can go look this up. So this Ksp and this is the rate constant times the surface area of the mineral, and then times, for example, how far away the reaction is from equilibrium, which would depend on the activity of Ca2 plus, activity of carbonate, and then divided by Ksp, which is how far away this is from equilibrium. So this is IAP, right? Now when in, we have dilute system, if we have dilute system, then this activity will be equal to C. Um, so you can replace every A with, with C for simplicity. So essentially this equation is saying um, mass of calcium is added to system, to the water, by having this rate law um, for calcium. But, so, but we also will have total, adding total carbon to the system, right? So similarly, you would have V, D, and then uh, we call total carbon, CT, DT. It will have the same expression here as Ksp A1 minus activity of Ca. because it's essentially through the same reaction. Um, so, the, so this reaction is essentially adding calcium total, carb, uh, total carbonate, this CT would be equals to, again, concentration of carbonic acid plus concentration of bicarbonate and concentration of carbonate. But then we need one more uh, equation, right? One, two, three, and then this is four, this is five. We need the sixth um, equation, which would be, if you think about it, um, when, when this mineral dissolving out to form calcium and carbon, carbonate, it's actually changing the pH of the system. So the hydrogen ion, or sometimes we also call like the measure of, of acidity of system will also change. And this will be, dip, um, I'm not going through the detailed derivation of the whole process, how we come up with, but let's call this DC, um, which is, so this is concentration of CT, concentration of hydrogen ion total, DT. And the, the, by dissolving out calcite, it actually decreases the uh, um, acidity of system. 
So it I will actually have minus KSP and then activity one minus A C A two plus. So again it's the same rate rate law, but it do actually have the minus signs there, meaning it's decreasing the high, high um so the uh, total acidity of the system. So the so expression for the total acidity will be different um, if we define different um, system, different uh, combination of primary species. But in general, if we, if we define this carbonate as one of the, as, as a primary species, we should have HT equal to hydrogen. Concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, this should be C H T. Hydrogen ion plus concentration of H two C O three minus <coughs> concentration of uh, bicarbonate and minus concentration of O H minus. You can actually derive this equation from the a tableau method, um, and this expression of this actually you can you can look at tableau and by combining different terms you you come up with this. So essentially you have now you have um, we have six unknowns right, and you have six equation to solve for that. Um, but on top of that, one thing you, we need to pay attention is that these are OD equations, so it, we call it ordinary differential equation. differential equation, right? Meaning we have one independent uh, variable, which is time, in this equation. So typically, the, the code will be solving this equation first uh, using time stepping. And then once we get the concentration of calcium, concentration of CT, concentration of CHT, you have three kind of um, Variable in particular time step, and then you do you we solve for the algebraic relationship with these numbers together with these three relationship, and by doing that we essentially get the concentration of all the six species as a function of time in these aqueous species, and you and what you see for example your homework is essentially um, generated by solving these equations.